Welcome back to the Junior Small Fee Channel. We're filming this handheld style. And what you see here is a box that used to belong to my great grandmother and then my grandmother, and she used to keep her coins in it. Uh, I've since re commandeered it from my wife, who was keeping sewing supplies in it, and uh, decided to put coins back in the box. So uh, since I've recently been doing some acquiring of the British variety, gotten into the the old pre-decimal silver, pre-19, or pre-1920, the 1920 and 1919 British coinage. I've got uh, some silver here as well as you can see some US coinage because I'm going to be doing some videos and comparisons uh, using the contents of this box. So giving you a kind of a sneak peek on what's going on in here right now. Um, there's just a pile of, a pile of old coins and um, some nice shillings. Where's the uh, one you guys will really get a kick out of here quickly? There's going to be a, uh, I'm going to be doing a trade soon. I've got a coin here I want to show all of you. That's what the point of this video is. But Oh yeah, here we go. Check this, check this shilling out. This thing's awesome. Let's see if we can get it to focus. 1817, George III. Heck, we'll, uh, we'll get it out of there one of these days and I'll show you the reverse. It's got some pretty good, uh, detail on the on the reverse of it there um another beauty here this sixpence pretty sure i scored on this one just uh it was xf extra fine but uh the guy that sold it didn't really market it very well uh, you know and i'm not a big expert these might i haven't really looked closely it doesn't look like it's been cleaned there's no like circular rub patterns on it or um, scrapes but uh, even if it has you know, I just got it as a specimen it's beautiful really sharp detail on the uh, if I took it out the slip you'd really be able to see it but just an awesome coin 1817 hard to believe 200 years old now you wonder what what some of these have been through you know World War one World War two just incredible stuff so Anyway, oh, I got a uh, Mr. Monkey Swagger like this. He loves these. These are a, a standing Liberty Quarter. There you go. So I kind of got that as a comparison to it to a shilling. And I'll be doing some comparisons of all of these. Uh, oh, this was on Instagram. I posted this coin. If you don't, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check it out because I'm able to put like really nice pictures of coinage on there. And uh, just check this out 1819 George the third crown with edge lettering this coin recently acquired it um, it's got the Prestrucci letters down there kind of you can make them out a little bit when you look with a magnifying glass but just uh, you can see the decus et tutamen written on the side of the coin one of these days I'll get this out for you and I will handle it with my white gloves just so you can really get a grasp of how beautiful this coin is, you know, due to its age. I mean, this thing's going to come up on 200 years old, a full crown. Even though it's worn, I just, I, you know, part of the reason I like worn coins like this is I don't like paying too much over numismatic, uh, too much numismatic value, you know, over the metal costs. I just, I have a hard time doing that. But when I have a coin that's worn like this, I know for a fact that it was, it was in so many transactions that it kind of got wear on it. You know, it was the goods and services that this coin was part of exchanging for was, uh, who knows? I mean, we'll never know. But this, you know, just history, absolutely history. Just crown like that. So I've got the two crown in there. I'd like to get a crown from each. That's a half crown there. I got the, uh, you saw the Victoria I put up the other day, but I would kind of like to get at least one representation of each monarch as far as crowns go. And then, you know, move on to like maybe half crowns. Got a couple of good George V half crowns here. This, These are both pretty crisp. This one's pretty nice here. I put them in these cases just recently. It's a pretty, pretty coin. I 
which is, I love the pre-decimal stuff, whole idea behind it. And then this real slick gothic half, or there's a florin, so yeah. Gothic florin, yeah, that's what it is. It's 1852. You can see the date there. Kind of worn out. I got a couple other gothic florins uh, on the way. Tenth of a pound. And then, uh, what else we got down in here? This is a pretty crummy florin here. Not really impressed by this one at all. It's 1888. But you know it's been through, been through some exchanges, I guess. And then uh, a couple other shillings, one more 1817 down here. Pretty slick on the back. This is a 18. Where's the date on this one? I think that's 1834. Yeah, 1834 shilling here. All right. Well, that's enough of that. So. I've got a trade here if anyone wants to take me up on it. Coin from the Malpy collection here, from the box. Now I'm no greater, but I got this and acquired it. And I uh, was told it was MS65. Of course, someone just wrote it on there, but um, it does look pretty brilliant to me. It looks really nice. Um, I got it from a reputable coin shop. And uh, it was a while ago. If you're uh, interested in trading, for a 1964D, this is 90% silver, crisp, clean, Washington quarter. If you are interested in trading for this, let me know. I will trade for some nice British stuff. Just, you know, any British coin that would, would work that you think is fair. If you've got something you want to put up for this guy, let me know. I'm into it. 90% silver, 64, pre, you know, it's a 1964 quarter. So, uh, yeah, any silver you got that's British, let me know. Let's get that Washington out of here and uh, make a deal. Let me know. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the Genius Malpy channel for a little wood unboxing, wood boxing. Hope you're enjoying the uh, coming weekend. Be safe. Keep stacking. Keep your eye on the news. I'll be taking, again, a little break just briefly here, and I'll be back as soon as possible. So until then, pour through the archives, pour through the coins here, and uh, hopefully I can, maybe I'll post a few things on Instagram while I'm out and about. That is a way to keep in touch with me a little bit. Um, I do like the back of this showing. That's awesome. Alrighty, let me know. Take care. 64D, supposedly MS65. Alright, take care.